Alrighty, good morning guys. It's another day, another adventure, right? We're actually heading to Lamar Valley uh, today in Yellowstone. Now, Lamar has a lot more wildlife, so it'll be a lot of fun to see, so let's get to it. It is time to eat. Lunchtime, of course, at Terrence Grill. If you're in Yellowstone, you gotta eat at Terrence Grill. It is one of the best spots to eat. My favorite, personally, is the bison broth. Let's eat. Into the danger zone It all points right to that I set myself aside Lamar Valley, one of the best places to come and see wildlife, and they have great fishing here. So we're gonna give it another shot with some fly fishing reels. Uh, Tetons was an epic fail. We'll see how this goes. I've never fly fished before, and it's pretty much the hardest form of fishing there is. So we'll see how it goes. If we catch anything, even if it's this big, I will be ecstatic, and we will eat it, unless it's native in which case you have to put it back. There's a lot of rules and make sure you read the book so you don't get in trouble. But it's a good experience, it's a beautiful day and the journey's gonna try fishing. So let's do this. We can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will be okay, waking up to another guys so the wonderful world of the journey someone has to get hurt right well we were fly fishing and they uh, like we said no idea what we were doing just cast and cast and cast and all of a sudden the wind started coming towards me so then the hook started coming towards me and I was seeing it like eye to eye so I put my wrist up and I was about to cast it again and then I looked down and I was like oh the hooks in my arm so right now we're trying to get the hook out of my arm. So if this happens to you, really the best way to do it, if you, there's a barb in it, you you've gotta sure. push it like all the way through because the barb, yeah. if you try to pull it back the other there way, it's go. just gonna rip your skin. Yeah. So believe it or not, you gotta push it back all the way through, cut the end of the, uh, the hook it, out, and then when right? the barb yeah. comes out the other I way, cut it with a pair of pliers and it should come out really easy. And there you have it, the hook out of my arm. So if this does happen to you, alcohol wipes, antiseptic, nail sporin, some Tylenol because it'll probably hurt. And if you haven't had a tetanus shot in a while, might need to get one. Probably good to get one. Yeah, so. How you feel, Nate? So it's all part of the journey, right? I'm gonna go back to fishing and hopefully not hook anything but a fish. <laughs> yep. I think I'm gonna take a little break. Well, Nate, it wouldn't be a trip if you didn't hurt yourself in some capacity. <laughs> How bad was it? Oh, you want to see the footage? Kelsey finally came over and I was like, Kelsey, get the camera. That's you. Guys, some of the best wildlife in the world. I want to go this under. I know we're going somewhere.
real dizzy of a night. So for starters, hold on. I had my first official write-up citation it's warning. It's not a citation. Yet. Whatever. But point is, I got scolded. The police of the national park. So get back to our campsite. We were late because you have to have your generators off by eight. We got back at nine. Had this. Well, we needed to unload. We needed to get some more water because we were out. So we brought the slides in, got the car in to drive. They, the rest of the crew was doing stuff outside, so it was just Kelsey and I. We were gonna go and fill up the station, dump all the, the poop and stuff. I get down the road, and we'll show you the road tomorrow, because I can't show you now. It was, it was about as dark as it is now. I couldn't see anything. I ran off the road, apparently. The whole RV shook. The refrigerator opened up. Stuff come, came falling out. I mean, it was just an absolute, I could, I was driving blind, literally blind. And there's no way a 40 foot RV should be able to fit on that road. So totally uh, the fridge goes out, Kelsey and I, oh, sh you know, freaking out. Somehow I made it out without hitting any cars, literally the Lord. We get down to the pump station. The, we start unload the dump and the gray, which is like the sink, whatever. The, the spigot broke. The spigot for the water broke, so the water we couldn't get the water to stop on our hose. So now we're like, crap. Well, then we come to find out whoever the last person was that emptied the sink left the pole open, which was, I believe, yours truly behind the camera unintentionally, which if the pole is open, that means there's stuff in the tank. Nathan never messed with the, the sink. The only two people who did it were Kelsey or Nate. So... So the pole's open, so we had to realize we had to have a volunteer of somebody open it up and let all the crap release onto their hands. So I volunteered to do that. That was pleasant. I almost vomited everywhere. It smelled so bad. And that was, thankfully, only the sink water. So we have that, and then as I empty that up, we, we move up to go fill up our water. The park ranger pulls up, <laughs> and he's... he's Scolding me and dad. So we had to talk our way out of getting a ticket for that. I took full responsibility. <laughs> Somehow we didn't get a citation. The water's full. We're going to take showers. We're going to bed and we're getting out of this campsite tomorrow at 8 a.m. That's how you finish your night, Jordiers. Good night. Subscribe, like. We'll see you next time.